Well, hey friends, it's Mandy with Sweetly Home, and here on my channel we love to talk about all things heart and home. And today I've got a bit of a home video for you. It has been a while since I've really done like a room decor tour type video, and I recently refreshed my dining area, entrance area, and I thought I would give you a quick little tour of the space. There are things in this room that are still not yet finished, like the board and batten behind me. It still needs hooks. And we have a wall over here that still needs something on it. I have the vision in my mind. I just don't have the tools to do it. <laughs> someday. Someday. And when that happens, I will show you and it will be glorious. And I'm very excited. But for now, it's blank. So today I am collabing with Davey K, and I would love it if you guys, after you've watched my video, would hit the description box down below and check out her video. She is also doing um, a room decor video. So thank you so much for inviting me to this collab, Davey. I'm excited to see your room. Make sure, again, that you check the description box down below. Check out her video. So without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so let me give you a quick little overview of the entire room. This is our front entrance. I am actually standing in the doorway of our kitchen. This door right here leads into our homeschool classroom. And this is where we eat each day. <laughs> um, this is the cord to my camera. Um, the battery is dead and it needs a new battery, so I have to keep it plugged in, but that's what that is. So let me zoom you in and show you a few details. So this all started the other day when I moved my kitchen table. Typically it had been along this wall and I turned it vertically and we loved it. It just opened up the space so much. As you can tell, we have a very small dining area and having the table turned, I guess, well, the way that I am right now, it's vertically. Um, but having it turned this way, it just really opened up the space so much. I would love to refinish the top of this table at some point. Um, I don't feel that the tone of the wood goes very well with my space, and maybe that'll happen this summer. I don't know. Um, but we did chalk paint the legs, and the chairs are from Ikea. The table itself was um, a thrift uh, find that I got on um, like an online garage sale site. So over here is a cabinet that my dad made me, and this I've had, oh gosh, I was in high school, and this was initially designed to hold my stereo. The stereo went down where that basket is, and then the speakers went on either side, um, and I loved it. I chalk painted it black. Um, I found the basket, and it just fit so well inside of there. Inside of the cabinet, I keep a lot of um, cloth napkins and napkin ring holders and things like that that I would use for my table decorating. And inside of the basket, I keep some extra home decor. So here's just a little look at the decor I've got going on. So this is a Scentsy warmer. Normally it is plugged in, but I did have to unplug it um, so I could plug my camera in. So up above we have these shelves. I am not happy with these shelves. My husband installed them and he put them too close together and they have just been a thorn in my side. So not much can fit in between this space very well, um, but I like how the little doodads that I have displayed. And up above, that's a picture of my kiddos when they were really little. And some new finds. Uh, that picture is from Hobby Lobby and it's like a pineapple and I love it. So I really do like to switch out these shelves seasonally, but I don't know, someday I think we're gonna revamp this space a bit um, and maybe put the shelves either further apart or do something altogether different in this space. My home is really small and I don't have a lot of flat spaces for decorating, so I do actually appreciate that I have shelves because I do like to put some of those pieces um, that my kiddos could kind of easily damage up high and it gives me just another space to decorate. So over on this wall, I have two frames of my kiddos, both as babies. I love both of these photos. This is of my son, Colt. He was all swaddled up to go to bed. And then this is my daughter, Aubrey. She is eating a breakfast quinoa and just absolutely loving life. I'm actually going to do a video very soon on this breakfast quinoa, so be on the lookout for that. This wreath is a new addition. This is a utility closet here, and I do like to have a wreath on it. Um, I actually just made this. 
I got the wire frame from Michaels and this fabric is actually from Ikea. I've had it for several years. It's reminded me of mattress ticking. Um, it's not, <laughs> um, but I folded it inside out. So this is the right side and you can see how it's a lot darker, but I liked the more muted faded side. Um, and then I just followed a tutorial on Pinterest for a bubble wreath and it was a pain to do, especially with this fabric, but I really like how it came out. And I just have a metal C for our last name hanging in the middle and I got that at Michael's a while ago. And I have a thing for oars. Um, this was an oar that was actually my father-in-law's and it was a kind of a really prized oar for him, um, but he gave it to me. And so I just have it tucked right here into this little space. Um, it's, <laughs> I don't know why, it just, it fits right there. And on the doorknob, I have a cute little bag um, that we're gonna use when we go to the farmer's market this year. And then this is a bench that my dad made me and I got this lantern for my sister-in-law, I think for my birthday, I think it was. Um, and I've just added a few little decorative elements. Now, because we don't have a coat closet in our entrance way, like who designs a house without a place to hang your coats? I don't know. Um, we purchased this shoe cabinet from Ikea and it is awesome. It holds a ton of shoes. The top drawer holds like sunglasses and our keys and sunscreen and different things like that that we would need to head out the door quickly. So I got the lampshade from Target um, on a recent trip to the States and I added it on this white lamp that I've had kicking around for years and years. I always needed a lampshade. So it was the first time that I actually got to use it and I love it. The Faith sign is something I picked up at HomeSense, which is like home goods here in Canada. It was originally red, and I don't really have a lot of red in my decor, so I just used some regular acrylic paint that you can find at Michael's, and I just kind of dry brushed it on. A little bit of blue, a little bit of white, made it look kind of faded and chippy, and went, it goes so perfectly with the lampshade. And then I've got a pitcher that I picked up at Hobby Lobby with some faux hydrangeas and this cute little bird. So this little spot here is nothing new, but um, I thought I would just show you this area as well if you're new to my channel. Um, I just have a couple of barn stars and this gorgeous sweet sign that is so perfect um, here. It's from Hobby Lobby and I love the Bible verse that is on it. We still do need to finish up this board and batten. Um, we need to hang some hooks on it so it can be functional and that's where our coats will go. But in the summer, it's not a huge priority because we don't wear coats in the summer, so someday that'll get done. Um, and then I just have this bench. So this bench is something that I wanted for a really long time. It came, it comes from like a, a store here called Canadian Tire, and it retails for well over $200. And I found it online on a garage sale site for just $60, and I was so thrilled. I love it so much. We keep, um, each of us has a bin. My son and I share one, uh, but keep our hats and mittens and things like that um, in the drawers. And then this pink bag is my purse. And I just have a big glass jar that I got at a yard sale for $5 and a little pillow. And that is it. That is my space. 